Hi, welcome to Life's Connections. I'm Mark. Our goal here is to use scripture to answer any questions that you may have. Today we're kind of going to combine two questions into one because in a lot of ways they go hand in hand. There are people who ask the question, how can I be certain that I'm saved? And there are also people who wonder if, their sin, if they sin, will they still be saved? And so we've combined those, and we're going to try to answer the question today, how can I be sure I am saved, especially if I sin again? Before we do that, let's just give a brief definition of what it means to be saved. We're not talking about physical salvation. We're not talking about being saved from drowning in the ocean or a firefighter hustling us out of a burning building. We're talking about spiritual salvation. What does it mean spiritually to be saved? Why do we need to be saved? The Bible tells us we need to be saved because we're sinners. The scripture says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And it says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. See, Jesus Christ came to this earth and lived and died on a cross to save us. Jesus Christ is our Savior. That was the gift that he gave us. And if we believe in Jesus Christ as our Savior, then we are saved. And so that's what we mean when we talk about saved. So let's just start to look now at some scriptures that tell us about how we can be sure that we're saved, even and especially if we sin again. We're going to start in Acts 16, and we've made it brief, we're just looking at parts of verse 30 and 31. A jailer asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. You see how simple that is? Now note I use the word simple and not easy. It's not necessarily easy to believe, but it's a simple thing. All that was asked of them was believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. See, it's not an emotional thing. It's not a one day I feel saved because everything's great, and one day I'm down in the dumps and I don't feel saved. We're kind of like that as human beings. You know, one day we feel great, we're on top of the world, we wake up and everything's roses, and the next day we wake up and uh, we're down and depressed and in the dumps, and nothing has really changed, but that's just our emotions. See, salvation being saved doesn't have to do with our emotions. It is a choice. It is faith. It is a belief. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. We can be sure that we're saved because our salvation doesn't depend on how we feel day to day to day in these ups and downs. We can be sure because of who Jesus Christ is and because of what the Bible tells us. There was no maybe there. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. And we can trust in God to maintain that salvation for us. What do I mean by that? Let's go to another passage. We're going to look in the book of John. Just flip back a little bit. John chapter 10. And we're going to look at three verses here. It's kind of a big chunk. John 10 verses 27 through 29. And Jesus is speaking. He says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give eternal life to them, and they will never perish, and no one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. So in back-to-back -back verses there, you see what we have? We see Jesus saying, no one will snatch them out of my hand. And then he says, no one is able to snatch them out of the Father's hand. Who is this, them? It's anyone who has believed in Jesus, anyone to whom Jesus has given eternal life. So how can I be sure I'm saved? Part of what makes me sure I'm saved is I know my salvation doesn't depend on me or my ability to maintain my salvation. It depends on Jesus. It depends on God the Father, and their power is absolute. No one can snatch a believer from the hand of Jesus. No one can snatch a believer from the hand of God the Father. Let's look at a couple more verses, terrific verses. Romans chapter 8, 
I think I've been saying this a lot lately. I wish I could read you the entire chapter, but a couple terrific verses at the end of the chapter, verses 38 and 39 of Romans 8. The Apostle Paul writes, For I am convinced, and that's a strong word, convinced, right? For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Do you get the feeling that the Apostle Paul is trying to tell you that there is nothing, 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 absolutely nothing that can separate us from the love of God, that can separate us from the salvation that Christ Jesus our Lord gives us? I'm pretty sure. Look at how many things he lists. He listed everything he could think of, and he is convinced that nothing can separate us. How can I be sure I'm saved? I can be sure I'm saved because I can be sure that nothing can get in the way. Nothing and no one has the power to snatch me out of the hand of Jesus Christ, out of the hand of God the Father. We're just going to look at one more verse. I'm throwing a lot of verses out today. 1 John 1, 9. Because the question comes up. There are a lot of people who are concerned that they can sin and lose their salvation. But again, when we're reminded that the security of our salvation is about God, about Jesus Christ, and not about us, it helps us to remember. And 1 John 1, 9 tells us, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Sin makes us dirty. God is the one who cleanses us from sin, from unrighteousness. He is the one who is faithful and righteous to forgive our sins. It's not something I can do. It's what he does. And so even if I sin again, God is waiting with an abundant supply of forgiveness, an abundant supply of cleansing power to take away those sins, to erase those sins, those unrighteousnesses. He wants to cleanse me. He wants to cleanse you. We can be certain that our salvation is secure in him even if we sin again. And Heavenly Father, we are so thankful for that fact. I confess that I still sin again, and everyone listening to this still sins. But we thank you that you are a God whose power is absolute and no one can snatch us from your hand, and nothing can separate us from the love of Jesus Christ, our Savior. We thank you for that wonderful truth. We thank you for the wonderful gift of salvation given to us by Jesus Christ with his death on the cross. Lord, I pray now that everyone hearing my voice would trust in Jesus as his Savior and recognize the security of salvation that is in you. We thank you in the precious name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks so much for joining us. If you have further questions about salvation, about what happens when you sin, we'd love to address those questions. You get the opportunity in just a few seconds to send us questions and to subscribe to our channel if you'd like. Remember that once you're saved, you are always saved. Even if you sin, you can be certain of your salvation in Jesus Christ our Lord. And until next time, Keep walking on the well-lit path.